form in for the back and I brought down a spring from my grandmother's bed my mother wanted to throw out a long time ago I've been holding on to it's a double size spring and what I did was I took an LVL now I'm gonna need a post over here there's no doubt about it to do a post configuration here and I put an LVL and I cut a notch in the tree I used some LVL some heavy-duty tap cons and I drilled it all the way up in the tree I drilled it in there. Now I'm going to have to do a little bit more. I'm going to have to come up with a, a cornice to help support this a little bit more. Make it look a, maybe do a cornice down in there and definitely do a, see I'm going to tie it in here. Or angle black it or something because this doesn't do a whole lot right here. It's just not, it's just sitting here. So definitely not going to be up there that. I can screw in here to the corner. Now here, I had to notch it so much to get that framing in there's not much it's just it's not doing anything it's just sitting there so again i'm gonna have to do something that ties in here and ties into this and and, and maybe another whole another big so uh one of the other things i did here was so i put this i got this four by six four by eight actually yeah four by eight and i got it from a scrap pile someone was using it for concrete form and I cut it, notched it, put it up in here, notched it. And it's working. I definitely have a spring here now. This is definitely going to be, a, it'll be nice. And then, uh, you know, it's not a lot of weight on there, but I can definitely put some clothing on there. I'll have my clothes, my clothing rack here and my gear up there. And then eventually, so that'll be my lofted sleeping area. Doesn't look like, I don't know. Lots of possibilities, but basically it's in. Just wanted to share that with you. So this is my concrete mattress blanket right here. Here. So that is gonna be only a little bit. Instead of being the full thing, I got it down to you know this is it's like uh foam. Not foam, it's air. So it's air cushion about inch. Okay, it's peak intricate nature here, and uh, I'm showing you this corner here because I am going to put a window in here. My eye window, that was a dream, is now a reality. And I'm going to install it. This window right here. We are looking at it now from the outside is going to be installed right in here and then this roof line I'm going to take further out and do an arch top like half barrel and then blend it back to back to about right about here so I'm going to tie, probably take this up and maybe move this one and then that will give me space between here and here and make it easier for me to get in bed as well as vet this area since I now have a greater size wood burner. Stay with me and we'll get it going. Oh, no, you know what? I'm going to pause real quick and I'm going to show you the outside before we do it. Okay, there's where it's going to go. Right about here, curved on around to an angle right here. And then this roof line is going to come out to another curve around here. This will be a flat inside there. And I'm going to try and just go with that line right there. And I'm going to go with this line right here and leave this alone. So we'll see how it goes and stay with me. So I took out this piece right here and the window will fit right here. Thing is, I have the corner of the bed here. And when you walk up the steps, right now the battery's sitting here, but when you walk up the steps, you walk up here, guess what? Now you have to duck under this joist. So a rafter. So I think I'm gonna move that rafter over here. So the object of cutting is to not cut through the outer layer until you're ready to cut it. So as you can see, I cut out all my sheeting by putting in a little cheap block right here. That holds it, holds it back so I can make cuts without cutting through my outer layer because I don't know where it's going to go. So why cut it in the wrong spot? So I made a little cut on that, and I made a little cut there, but that's easily fixable. And I got a hole or two, but that's no big deal. So now it's cut out, and we're going to go from here 
to here, but it's going to go that way. So now we're going to cut. I'm going to cut. This. Now you may say you're not off grid. You're using power tools, and you're right. I'm using power tools with a cord running out the door to my truck, which has an inverter tied into the battery, and I'm running off the truck. So I'm off grid because I'm running off a mobile vehicle and I'm able to get power to what I need to do. Well, I got the uh, window set where it's going. Got a few screws and uh, some temporaries put in where it's going. Let me uh, walk backwards down the steps here and show you how it looks. Now my sleeping area has increased from here. This is where I want to put my head is down here. So now I have this big area. As you can see, just standing from this location, this piece clearly is going to be a problem. So we're going to eventually cut this out, but I'm going to frame this inside first and then cut these here and then angle it to the next frame. And that'll make a nice cove right there and it'll make it very easy to get around this corner post right here. So stay with me and I'll show you step so as it I'm goes. I'm running out of daylight. I got the uh, angle. Uh, framed in and the underside started to sheet it I think I might be able to do it uh, top I'm going to see if I can get a little more sheeting on I still got to do some framing over here and square up and do what I'm going to do there but I don't, I don't want I don't want to I was going to go straight down at this point and at this point I'm going to cut this back because when I stand inside I could see my pond from up here and I want to see the pond again so uh, I'm going to take this right here and probably lop it off like about here and then take it back. So it's not going to be a very big overhang because this is my overhang coming up. So yeah, it'll probably be like this. Just enough to uh, enjoy an eye window. Going down a ladder while filming. So that's what we have for today. Sunset is arriving. I do not know if I'm going to be able to get much more, but uh, I might throw a picture in here for the rest of the day, see if I can button up. So a few it's things. next morning, and I didn't like how this other. Uh, I don't like how this tied in, so I changed that and kind of created more of a gradual curve, as you can see. It kind of curves laterally to follow the window. Uh, I guess I didn't really think about overlapping layers and multiple roofs so I put the felt in this morning and I actually should have put it in and built on top of it but it's no big deal because the type of roof I'm going to do there's insulation going on top then the roofing so it'll be okay for now so when I did this side I put the felt paper in first and then I put my piece over the top and then I'll do more felt over top of that so uh, looking out from the inside I'm able to get the full view of the pond as well as the entire outdoors and then also one of the things I want to show here while the sun was out as you can see the angle of the, sh of the sh sun only comes to here well that's good I, I don't get any UV to the inside but I still get sit daylight and that's important to me so I wanted to make sure the sun didn't increase the heat in the inside by using the glass to do it so uh, just got a little bit more I got to put a piece here maybe a piece there and one little piece underneath here and then I can felt it off and show the end result. So stay with me and uh, show you how it's coming. I'm going to give you two seconds of view here when I step back. That's my view, ladies and gentlemen, right there. See the roof line? Dirty window. That's the view I have looking out. Now we expand back a little bit. And you can see I framed into the corner. Whoop, sorry about that. I got a stink bug on my hand. And up there I'm going to have to foam it. I like to foam around the whole outside edge. But I uh, got more of a roof line here, so it looks like I have a cubby space, so that's cool. Maybe I can utilize that. 
I want to still want to add a few screws here and there to tie this stuff together. But uh, overall, that's how it looks. She's done. In, complete. And then here's the cool part. Here's what I want to show you. Check it out. There'll be a screen that goes right here. That's cool. That's pretty pretty interesting. But so I'll be able to sleep in the bed right here. I got the whole bed, and then I'll have be able to uh, I'll be able to adjust how much air goes in and out of this top area, which is good. And also, worst comes to worst, I could kick this out. I'd really hate to do that, but I could kick this out. Cause there's my wood burner down there. And uh, it's important for me, if I have a going, that I have an escape route besides going past it to the door. There's another door here, so if that's open, that's not a problem. But if I'm up here and there's an issue, that's just as easy for me to kick out this window and go out this way. So it gives me an escape hatch and a custom window. It's my, my eye, bra eye window. See the eye? He's looking out at you watching what you're doing. Pretty cool, huh? So this is Pete from Intricate Nature, but uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, comment, and uh, share your ideas and tell me what you want. So, uh, be peaceful. Okay, I'm out. Thanks for watching.